Hello, welcome back to another video for Pokemon Diamond Pearl. Today we're going to go for Dratini. Dratini can be found on er, in Mount Cornet on the fourth floor in the first section, which I'll take you there very shortly. There are a few things you need to know before we go and get to this Pokemon. The first is that this Pokemon is kind of exclusive to post game, where you have the Super Rod, which is obtained in the Battle Resort area, so it is kind of post game. Uh, the second thing, th this is a 40% encounter rate, so it is not too difficult to find, but you do need a Pokemon that knows Rock Climb, and a Pokemon that knows Surf, and a Pokemon that knows Fly to get out of the area, which is very uh, helpful. You do kind of need a bicycle for the first half, and a lot of repels since we're going to be in Mount Cornet, and that place has a lot of Pokemon that can come at you in the wild and are very annoying. We're going to start in Orbor City, we're just going to head north on our bicycle, we're going to climb up this mudslide here. We're going to head into Mount Cornet, and uh, this is where our journey first begins. So we're going to use Go on the Water here. And being a very slow traverse, uh, it's going to take us a few seconds here. And um, if you watched my previous video on Dragonair, I mentioned that I would be doing the Stratini video. It is kind of interesting to consider that uh, Dragonair and Dratini are in this game. You Even just my reaction, and again, I'm still in shock about my reaction to the sprite because it's just a uh, sprite I'm not familiar with seeing. Yeah, I'm familiar with the uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver sprite because you see it pretty often since you can get it from the game corner. I'm also pretty uh, familiar with the Gold, Silver, and Crystal sprite as well because you find it in the Dragon's Den, um, and etc, etc. In these games, I'm not familiar with it, which is why I was caught off guard, and I think it's very interesting that you can actually find these Pokemon in the wild. You, Dragonair and Dratini have always been uh, Pokemon that aren't the easiest to find in the wild. Well, no, that's actually a lie. They are pretty easy to find in the wild for some reason, all things considered. There's a few other Pokemon that are much harder to find in the wild, like uh, Beldum. You don't find Beldums. In the generation Beldum was introduced, you don't find it in the wild. You find it at Steven's house. And then in Gen uh, 5, you or in Gen 4, you find a Matang in the Safari Zone, and you can find Beldums as a swarming Pokemon. And then in Gen 5, you can find another. But Dratini... Um, oh, right. Dratini is a Generation 1 Pokemon, is it? Oh, I thought it was a Generation 2 Pokemon for the longest time. Hmm. That's interesting, eh? Anyway, we're here at the spot. We're just going to use our super rod. Easy peasy. Let's go. And there we go. We found a Tratini. I did find a few Gyaradoses, unfortunately, during this. Uh, which, you know, they're here. What can you do about it? I think they max out at level 55, which I found one here earlier. But it's kind of interesting that you can find such a high level Gyarados in Diamond and Pearl. In Platinum, you can find that level 100 Magikarp, obviously. Which uh, is really funny but uh that's for another day anyway we're just gonna use an ultra ball and i'll cut if we uh, don't catch as is tradition uh i'm not really gonna spend any time convincing you guys why dratini's good i think all of you are aware why this pokemon is really good it's a pseudo legendary you evolve it into dragonair this is one of the few pokemon that even if you get it in post game which you kind of have to it i do kind of recommend having it on your team it is very powerful and it can serve as a great asset anyway thank you for watching make sure you're doing for post next see ya